17 million years ago, cataclysmic events set in motion a series of spectacular geologic events that changed forever the landscape of the Pacific Northwest. In places known today as Eastern Washington, Oregon, and Western Idaho, a series of earthquakes grew larger and more frequent. Giant fissures up to 16 miles long and 8 miles wide opened up and massive lava fountains erupted. At temperatures of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, flaming hot tongues of lava advanced at a rate of 3 miles an hour, engulfing 63,000 square miles of the Pacific Northwest, creating the third largest example of a flood basalt to ever occur on the planet. A series of glacial episodes over several million years brought cooling temperatures and massive fields of ice flowing southward from Canada, damming rivers and creating large lakes. Glacial Lake Missoula in western Montana covered 3,000 square miles and was held in place by a 2,500-foot tall dam of ice. The lake contained over 500 cubic miles of water, half the volume of Lake Michigan. One quiet day, about 15,000 years ago, in the utterly frozen desolation of a place that is today known as Sandpoint, Idaho, the ice dam broke. The ground shuddered as water weighing two trillion tons thundered south at a rate ten times the combined flow of all the rivers in the world at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. The lake emptied within a few days. Thundering toward the Pacific Ocean, the massive flood stripped away hundreds of feet of soil, cut deep coolies into the basalt, and dropped boulders the size of elephants and cars across the landscape. Scientists estimate the mega flood cataclysm occurred 100 times and were the most powerful freshwater floods to occur on Earth. Frenchman Cooley, at the southwest edge of the Quincy Valley, is one of the most spectacular features left behind by the Great Ice Age floods. The cataclysmic forces of water left behind a rugged, mysterious-looking landscape that has become one of Washington State's premier locations for recreation. Frenchman Cooley is located one mile off Interstate 90 between Vantage and George Washington. Take the Silica Road exit, number 143, on the east side of the river. Follow it for less than a mile to Vantage Road southwest. Turn left toward the Columbia River. Hold on to your seat for a journey on one of the oldest highways on the east side of Washington State, ending on the shores of the Columbia River.